What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Yurelis and welcome to my beauty space. Today is going to be an exciting video because I am going to test out the new Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and Concealer. I'm so excited to try these out. I actually tried this foundation out a couple of videos back. I will leave the link down below. I originally, okay, so let me backtrack to what exactly happened. I originally got it in the color caramel and when I swatched it on my hands in the store, it looked pretty good. And so I bought it thinking that it was going to be my shade or whatever. And I, I normally get samples, but for this foundation, I was like a little too excited and I wanted to test it out. So I was like, you know what? I know caramel is going to be my color. I'm just going to try it and see how it goes. And then when I did put it on, I thought it matched me. But as the hours went by, it started to turn gray on me. I went back to the store and then I picked up mocha. Mocha looked like it was going to match me. But then I went and swatched Makeup Forever, the shade that I'm in. It's, what is it, Y445 or something like that. When I swatched it side by side on my hand, it looked like it matched me too. So I was like, wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. Then Jackie, 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 Jackie. Then Jackie announced that she was going to do a collab with Too Faced, which I completely forgot about. I know she mentioned it so long ago. But when they expanded the shades, I was so excited because I was like, oh my God, I think Brulee is going to be my jam. So that is the shade that I have here. And I did swatch it on my face and everything. So this is definitely a go. And I'm going to wear her out a little bit, make sure that she doesn't like turn any colors on me of course I had to get the concealer because why not um, I keep hearing amazing things about this it's better than Tarte Shape Tape which I I liked that concealer but I did not like it at the same time because I just felt like it was just too heavy like it just settled into my lines and I was set it like crazy and it just it just didn't work for my under eyes if it works for you that's great but it just didn't work for me so I'm really excited to try out these two products and wear them out and give you my full review. So I'm going to jump into my eyes and I'll be back to start the face. It's time to beat this face, girl. So my eyes are on. And before I get started, let's just learn a little bit about the Born This Way foundation and concealer. So they pretty much claim the same thing. It is hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly, and non-comodontic. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this. The foundation is infused with coconut water, ipon rose, and hydrolonic acid. So, which is really good because that means it is really hydrating. So it is oil free, so that's good. And it's medium to full coverage. So let's jump into it. But first, I actually need to pin back my hair. So like, it's not pissing me off. I feel like I look orange in my viewfinder. And if I do, I'm so sorry. Like, I am filming in a different space. And I did change my shirt. So it's not my shirt. It might be the backdrop. I don't know. Hopefully, like, the foundation won't look so orange on me. So, on camera anyway. I'm going to color correct the same areas I always color correct. And I always mess this up. Right before I'm about to color correct, I forget I need to prime. For primer, I don't have any Too Faced primers. I did use years ago like probably like two years ago i used the coconut one that they have that one's really good it smelled really good it looked really nice on my skin um but i just never repurchased it i'm debating between the ysl or the maybelline hydrating one damn which one all right i'm gonna go with the ysl one you do what you gotta do to make yourself feel better okay i want to be bougie and put this next i'm going in with the tarte green slate primer I like this primer for my t-zone area now I'm going to color correct so pop 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 foundation time I'm going in with brulee I'm gonna do three pumps because I think that's gonna work oh hi coverage wow that's why I was willing to like give this foundation a try again with the right shade because I just love the way it made my skin look. It looks so healthy and dewy and glowing and I'm all about that. This foundation doesn't dry down quickly so you do have time to like blend it and make sure that it looks good. Firstly, it looks really nice. It blended really well. 
color is really good. It definitely matches me. It matches me way better, way better than mocha and caramel. All right, so three pumps is too much. I could definitely go with two. I'm gonna add another layer, but very lightly. I should have wore a bandana. Remember when everyone used to wear bandanas on their heads? I feel like that was like around the Aaliyah era. But if you're gonna do the bandana trend, please don't wear like gang colors because let's be serious. You don't wanna be caught in the wrong neighborhood and film with hoes, motherfucker. <laughs> How many of y'all know where that quote was from? If you listen to 50 Cent, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm definitely gonna show you guys in different lighting and stuff in case I look orangey here. You know, it's not dewy. It's not matte. It looks natural. It looks like a natural finish to me. It looks it looks bomb. It looks like I was born this way. Like <laughs> For the concealer, I'm going in with Warm Sand. That coverage though. It instantly covered up my color corrector. It's blending really nicely. Doesn't look heavy or cakey on the skin. It actually looks really flawless to me. I really like the coverage. I like the color a lot. It looks really, really good. And now I'm going to set it. So set the concealer. I'm going to use the powder I always use, which is my Laura Mercier powder. I love this powder. I just feel like it makes my skin look really smooth. I'm going to spray my beauty blender. Then I'll look up one more time and lightly dab. my nose as well because if I don't, I'm disaster. going to contour with an old favorite. This is Anastasia's Contour Kit. And then this is a Morphe 529. I pretty much just mixed all three of these. That contour with the foundation, it just looks really, really good. Like, especially in person. I don't know how it's looking on camera, you know? But in person, a bitch looks big. So I'm going to continue with my routine. I'm going to add blush. I'm just going to pick up this blush here that's already in the kit. It's like an orangey. It's called Lit Orange. I'm going to use the Master Chrome for highlight today. I am going for like peachy gold vibes. So this is definitely a good highlighter for that. Hit it one time. Nah, I'm going to hit it several times. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yes. To set my face. Okay, so let me start off by saying that I seriously think that this foundation and concealer combination are bomb. Like, I could just tell you off the bat, it looks so good. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels like my skin. It just feels like it doesn't even feel sticky. It doesn't feel like I have makeup on. Like it just feels so good. And I feel like I look very healthy. My skin is evened out. It gave me nice coverage. I mean, it just looks so good. My under eyes look really nice and it looks hydrated. It doesn't look dry. It looks like like I got some expensive ass makeup on. Like it looks like I got that good good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show you guys in different lighting to see how it looks. I'm gonna go straight to my window to see how it looks with daylight. Jackie, right now I can tell you, girl, you fucking slay this shit, all right? You 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 did your thing because I'm I'm fucking shook right now. Like when I'm fucking shook about makeup, you need to be fucking shook, all right? Because did did All right, you guys, so I am in front of my window right now, all natural lighting. I don't have no umbrella lighting, nothing like that. And look how bomb this foundation looks. Like, I feel like I look so flawless. And the finish of it all, I'm gonna step back so I can really see. The finish of it all looks really nice. It matched me really well. So, I mean, just, it, the proof is in the lens. Like, you guys can see how well this this is looking so i'm definitely going to step out it is hot outside it's not that hot today but it is still kind of humid so i'm going to step out see how it looks in a couple of hours and give you guys my final thoughts but hey guys so i am back it is around wait let me grab my phone so it is 
436 and I've had this foundation on for about three and a half hours or so and girl it still looks good like I did step out it is hot today it's like 84 degrees kind of cloudy it's in and out you know but it's it's really nice outside and the makeup is holding on so well and I definitely recommend it I give it two thumbs up it is so good it just makes your skin look so flawless and nice and healthy and youthful and that's the type of products that I like to use in my skin. So I also took a bunch of pictures and they came out so flawless, so beautiful. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should. By the time this video goes up, my photos should be up already and I can honestly tell you that if you're going to a special event, if you're getting married, this is the foundation to go for because I am definitely gonna wear this the day of. Like, it is beautiful, flawless, it's everything you look for in makeup, so. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. And don't forget to glow. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share. All right? Mwah. Bye.